let's talk about the effects of teacher feedback on students overall attitudes perceptions or experiences of uh, learning writing skills so in this regard it's important that i would like you to reflect because it's not for the first time you might have received the feedback or you have given the feedback you might have been receiving the feedback from your childhood age till up till now so i would like you to pause this slide here and uh, take a pause and reflect reflect on what reflect what memories do you have of teacher responses to your writing whether positive or negative or balanced one or if they helped you improve in what way if they didn't help you improve why not so just think then what types of feedback have you as a writer found most helpful this is interesting question for reflection whether the feedback which is given in the sandwich style praise and criticism i mean which is given as a sugared pill i mean sugared pill is a notion within the area of feedback so most what was the most problematic area of feedback whether it affected your self esteem identity or whether it brought um, about elements of demoralization what concerns come to your mind while responding as a teacher now this course is as a training for you to teach writing and reading effectively so what sort of concerns you have as a teacher whether it calls for a lot of time whether it calls for a lot of energy effort because giving feedback whether in the classroom or on the written drafts of students is time taking and it requires a lot of energy and effort so what concerns for example my concern as a language teacher is if my students take notice of my feedback or if they take it seriously if they take it seriously do they respond or just they look at the grade and forget the feedback these are my concerns so you just you, you can also think of your own concerns as a language teacher so reflection is important so there are various effects of teacher commentary on students attitudes perception and experiences uh, there are various studies which conclude that students want feedback they want feedback which is encouraging constructive positive and motivating and the value feedback they attach great value to the teacher feedback and they take it as a as a gateway to to notice the gap between the desired performance or uh, and the current performance students see value on variety of issues for example grammar for example organization content and overall meaningful communicativeness so students it's important to bear in mind if we give too much importance to the grammatical aspect the student might feel demoralized so it should be balanced one i mean half of the weight should be given to the grammatical uh, appropriateness and half of the weight should be given to the overall development of argument overall content overall coherence overall organization of the written piece so what the research suggests is that some student find it rather most students find it um, difficult to understand the feedback which is not understandable which is beyond their meaning which is beyond their perception which is beyond their understanding which is confusing so for example uh, the comment like your analysis is descriptive this is the comment your references are like a shopping list these are like close ended feedback which puts students tend might put students in a deadlock which doesn't open up 
door or window for further negotiation or for further dialogue so this is important that while giving electronic oral written peer evaluation self evaluation any sort of training or feedback we need to keep in view the effects attached to teacher commentary